Multiple tech experts tell King5 one reason CrowdStrike is so popular is because it moves fast to address new cybersecurity threats. But the speed needed to beat hackers can also challenge the rollout process. For a lot of software companies, when they roll out changes, they will do gradual rollouts. And in the industry, we refer to those as rings or progressive rollouts. And you do that careful rollout to prevent exactly what we saw today. Because if you do a very fast rollout across everyone and you have a bug in it, you can impact literally hundreds of millions of people. As for impacts to local tech giants, the Microsoft CEO released a statement saying the company was working closely with CrowdStrike to provide technical guidance and safely bring systems back online. Amazon Web Services has worked in partnership with CrowdStrike, but as for this incident, a dashboard says AWS services and network connectivity weren't affected and are operating normally. In today's cybersecurity landscape, hackers are using AI to craft new techniques that change faster than ever, requiring constant updates to systems. This new level of responsiveness that needs to happen in seconds rather than minutes, Whereas before we saw it months, weeks rather than months. The CEO of CrowdStrike says the company is still determining how and why this happened on only certain systems. We're just trying to sort out where the that negative interaction was. Experts say it will likely prompt many companies to review their testing processes to prevent incidents like this while still keeping out bad actors. And it's important to note also that CrowdStrike says this is not a cybersecurity breach, but was instead a bug with that update, Jessica. Erica, what is the timeline to get all of this fixed? Well, you kind of touched on it. It really depends on business to business. Some have already handled it. Some it's going to take a lot longer. It really depends on who has to go in and manually make the fix and kind of everything that's connected to that. So still up in the air for some folks. Got it. Okay. Erica Zuko reporting live in Redmond tonight. Erica, thanks.